again and welcome to another video. This time it's a follow-up to a video I went and did which was the unboxing of the Aruba AP93 wireless access point. And in this video I'm going to show you just how quickly you can set one of these devices up and get people up and running. So for starters what we'll do is we will enable the Wi-Fi on this iMac that I'm currently using. And this should go and find a whole range of points around us. Give it a second or two. And what it will do is, as you've seen, it's found a point here called Instant. And this is the default SSID that's used by the Aruba 93 for the initial configuration. So if you log in in your web browser to instant.arubanetworks.com, it will take you to the login page. And if we just type in admin and admin, it takes us straight in. And the first thing that we'll have to do is select the country code, select OK. And you'll see there the network that's currently configured is called Instant. So what we want to now do is, is create our own network. So we click New and then this wizard will guide us through. So let's create a new SSID, call it Test Network. And for the purpose of this video, we'll just take the defaults and Primary usage would be an employee, next, the network will assign an IP address, next. Now we basically can configure what sort of protection we want to use. So at the moment I'll just have it as WPA2 personal. And we'll just do simple passwords. Hit next, finish. Now that's that done. Now it takes about a minute to two minutes sometimes for these devices to create the network. But as you've seen there in front of you right now, there is the test network that I've just created pop up. Now at the moment we're still on the instant one and we want to start to use the test network. So what we'll do is go up. I'll just turn the Wi-Fi off. And then we'll wait a second for the thing to finish what it's doing. And then basically it will log into the new network. You can see that that's just cut off now. So now it's just waiting for us to reconnect to the wireless again. So now if we turn the wireless back on, let it find networks. What we should now see is the test network. So I'm going to go and click and join that. It's now going to ask me for the passwords. Log into that. I'll just hit retry on this. There we go. And and if I remember the password that I went and typed in, that's us log back in. And as you can see, this time on the network side, what we have now is just a test network, and the default one is now gone. So that means this network is now secure. So if I want to check it and do any changes, you just click it once and then you'll see there's an option to edit. Just click on edit and then click on show advanced options. And then from within there, you can see there's a whole range of things that you can start to change. Too many things here really to go through for the purpose of this video. But if anyone is interested in knowing a bit more about these and anything else that can be configured on it, I'd be more than happy to answer any of the questions. But hopefully this has shown you just how quickly this device can actually be set up. The other interesting thing about this is as well, if you were to go and purchase additional devices, as soon as you plug them on the network, this device will automatically detect them and automatically program them so that every other device goes onto the network fully configured and you're basically up and running in about five minutes. So hopefully this has been of interest to you. Many thanks for watching.